We're with owner and chef Gabrielle of Top Spanish Cafe. And tell us a little bit about your origins. Where are you from? I'm from Nicaragua. You know, actually, uh, my dad is from uh, Spain, from Valencia. Uh, my mom is from Nicaragua. Uh, I'm, I'm born in Nicaragua. Uh, I just grew up in uh, um, the United States. So, and that's why the, I have followed the culture, of Spanish culture, and we got it, and we create a top of Spanish, uh, and we making kind of fusion, some uh, text make and a uh, Spanish cuisine uh, over here. Cause that's that's part to my culture, uh, cuisine. Is this your only restaurant? Uh, no, we we has a uh, two more restaurant, and we has a catering too. We we have a catering. When top of Spanish catering means from uh, system from '93. So, and then we work in here doing a, a catering on this place. Uh, later on, we decide to make in a restaurant too, you know, that's why we call Top Spanish Cafe on catering, because we're doing a, now cafe uh, before it's a catering. Uh, but uh, that means existing from. Tell us a little bit about the dish in front of you. It was one of Lindsay's favorites. Oh, this is uh, Paella Marinera, it was excellent, you know. Uh, I love very much because was my as a recipe from uh, my dad. He used to make him paella for family all the time, and and that's my my favorite, you know, dishes. So, and uh, paella used to making a uh, in Spain of different way what we can do it on here, but uh, still be you know uh, very nice dishes. Thank you for taking the time to interview with us. Washington Eats is a top Spanish cafe in Washington D.C. in the neighborhood of Petworth. And Lindsay's going to try some of their wonderful food that was cooked for us recently. Lindsay? Yes, I am. I'm so excited to try the first dish. It's a paella marinara, and it's a typical Spanish dish. There's, um, there's clams, calamari, shrimp, uh, mussels, and also some sliced fish, and topped with bell peppers. We have a mixture of some red peppers and also some green peppers. And it's all mixed in with some tomato sauce and some saffron rice, short grain Valencia rice. And this is one of my favorite Spanish dishes here. And it's always got to be cooked perfectly for it to be, you know, really authentic. So I'm really excited to try this. Get a little bit of, a little bit of clam there. There's so many seafood choices, it's hard to pick which one I want on the first bite. This is what authentic paella tastes like. And I know you probably think I'm just saying that, but the rice is cooked perfectly. Like I said, you have tons of seafood. There's a different flavor in every bite. And the seafood is so fresh. I would think it was flown in daily that you might not think um, is particularly, you know, a Spanish dish that you'd find in a Spanish restaurant is um, a grilled rack of lamb. And there's a really interesting orange and red wine sauce. And it's paired with some garlic mashed potatoes, some sauteed spinach with a little bit of raisins. So I kind of feel like you're covering almost all of your food groups here with your meat, your starch, your vegetables, your fruit. Let's give it a taste. The meat is so tender. I saw how quickly that the knife just slid right through the meat. And how much it melts in my mouth. The sauce is kind of pungent, but it offers enough of sort of a fruity flavor without being overwhelming. And I bet it's a perfect pair with these garlicky mashed potatoes. Mm. Spanish Cafe uh, has sort of redone their tapas menu. Uh, they offer a, a full line of entree sized dishes. And they also have these tapas. And right here is it's a chicken with a salsa verde. And it also has a grilled zucchini. And zucchini are some of my favorite vegetables. And the salsa verde looks like a combination of garlic, maybe some olive oil and then also what appears to be cilantro. So I guess we're gonna find out. Parsley. It's not cilantro, it's parsley, but I was close. It, either way, it's absolutely delicious. The garlic, it's just enough pow in that chicken. And then it even tastes like there's a little acidity from some lime juice, it's fantastic. 
Our final dish is the gambas ajillo, which I have found is very popular in um, a lot of the tapas places I go to, but it's one of my favorites. And everybody has their own little variation of it, but ideally it basically translates to shrimp and garlic. And so it's always a matter of how much garlic there is, and in my book, the more the better. So we have the garlic here in the sauce the shrimp that's so tender and so fresh and then here's the toast and the fun part is you really just kind of take the sauce and you put it on here and then you put little pieces of the the, uh, the shrimp on top which kind of makes it almost like a little sandwich which is my favorite but I like to do it separate and have all the different flavors